All right, so this is the tale of Bistum. It is apparently based on uh, an ancient Persian epic poem. I made a grave mistake. And last time I skipped this, when I was setting up, I skipped this intro, so we're going to watch this. Sounds like cuneiform. Bang. It all began with a war between two mighty deities. A conflict with dire consequences. So we got spike wrist and wing wrist. Fire and wind, I'm guessing. The fighting rent the very fabric of our world. That's usually bad. As the crack deepened, it is spread like the grass. I'm, I'm liking this animation though. It's a little chunky. And through that fissure, but still kind of smooth with those little sprouts. Can't. Something unnatural. Yeah, like the slow, chunky cracking. Right, so, it let up bad times. Despite the like side view look of these screens, it, this is more of a top-down thing, kind of like uh, Porchlight, but then or Diablo, this gameplay-wise, or Tunic, which we never got around to. Oh no, it's going to be Sonic in the Secret Rings too. And for many years there was peace. But even an instrument of order can be dangerous if it was Dino in the jungle. I was tasked with giving the sign to the just ruler. But I chose the wrong king. And eventually, the repercussions of my failure came to bear. Oops. I don't know if this is supposed to be Beastoon or somebody else you're working with. The blight is spread throughout Persia. For my failure, I was cast out of the realm of the gods. Imprisoned. Okay, now we're, uh... Shattered memories. The gross person. Got it. Redemption eluded my grasp. I was weak, consumed by pity, and resigned to my deserved fate. But then, something... With a cage around your head like a solid trap. A human found me. He too was broken, and took pity on a fellow tormented soul. Where? And deep within those strange eyes, I glimpsed something I had lost. Hope. Alright, let's F S you. Hey, look at the screenshots of this. I love I love the color scheme they went with. It's like kind of otherworldly neon thing going on. That's cool. So we're starting with, I think, default settings. If it starts to chug, I can drop it to medium or whatever, I think. But got some glowy. We got a mouse cursor, but I'm using a controller, so. Render cutscenes. Yeah, I'll probably just do a few stages of this. But if it has good game feel. I love, again, I love the visual, but we don't know what it feels like. We can come back to it in, at a future date. It'll be cool to learn a story that I'm not familiar with. Fairly elaborate uh, thing up. Yep, something went weird. Firefox burped, but I think the stream's still going. Hopefully we're good. Let me reload the dashboard here. Um, camera capture seems all right. Yeah, we're good. I think. So you slowed? Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. You scared me. Slowly, like the morning sun clambering over the horizon, consciousness came. He opened his eyes. I'm guessing this is actually like a translation of the poem. Alright. Got cool hair. 
Don't seem to have a jump, at least not on that button. Triggers don't seem to be doing anything. Pleasant, he thought. To wake to nature's song. But something was not right. I just remember the last campfires I meant to do was too. Oh, uh, we were we were gonna be busy in the coming weeks. Alright. Uh let's say a hot rock. Can't do anything about hot rock, at least not yet. He navigated the narrow paths. Oh, I wonder if we can actually like come back to stages with extra abilities to come and it find side roots. Questions bobbed to the surface, like apples in water. How did I come to be here? He asked himself. No, that's not the right question. Nor is where I'm going. A single terrible realization crystallized in his fogged mind. I don't know who I am. That's inconvenient. Many stories have been told about poor souls who have forgotten the paths they have trodden. But there is more to this tale. That, I promise. Okay. Oh, we got fungus on the trees. That's cool. We got fly bird thing. That's cute. The Bram friend. The soft glow of the man's lantern fell on an exotic bird. A hoopoe. The recognition heartened him. Perhaps the bird would lead to further revelations. We got three goblin looking dudes. On instinct. Its beautiful trail fanned the flame of hope. I just want to see if there's an interaction here once he stops talking. Nope. But all right, three go goblin looking dudes. Uh, two burlier looking dudes. Oh, B to sprint. Okay. going on here we got seven rings in hand I knew it all right uh, spears thriller gargoyle looking friends. that looks important and maybe it gets a cube put in it that looks like something oh it's the hoopo okay that was something to pick up maybe not yet Sticks to find. I doubt that. Oh, spinny thing. He spotted something glinting among the rocks. Something that called to him. Okay. Now I want to run back up the hill and see if we can't chop that other rock with this thing. Or it's just going to pull me out of the level. Interesting. Was oh, now we're in the time between times. A simple act with a remarkable outcome. The cool looking hatchet, though. The revelations realm. There was no. Oh. Back. Whatever this mysterious. Our right, well, X is swing. He had oh, do we have two? Yes. Woo, combos. The hatchets in his hands brought some comfort as he journeyed deeper. We gonna do some chopping. Use the hatchets to destroy. Okay, that the again the glowy stone earlier. Help me! Who's there? The man called. His voice muffled. I have a bad feeling we're gonna free somebody. Either we're freeing this person from the intro, or we're freeing somebody who is gonna cause us trouble later. Oh, we have a sprint, right? Yeah. The kind that only the truly alone know. But he was mistaken. There was another. Okay, you can't sprint while you're holding the axes, I don't think. The tree was yellow. Alive, but bound tight by otherworldly rocks and glowing tentacles. This is a tentacle type Pokemon. The blades of the man's hatchets were sharp. Let's go chopping. Oh, cool. It's a step by step deal. Alright. The man didn't know if the creature were friend or foe, but he felt its pain and fear. It mirrored his own. 
I'm loving the camera angles too. The creature wise. Nothing else. Big points on presentation for this. This is amazing. Oh, we saw a ramp like that back in the earlier area too. So we'll see what happens with that. Okay, it is a one-way slide. I'm about to bit that to walk back. What's up, tree friend? The tree creature freed. The man approached. So Hugs! In Persian legend, tree hugs you. Oh, what's up, bro? What happened? Oh, I see. He hangs out here. Hence the leaves. Where have you taken me? Calm yourself, human. I am so glad this is voice acted because I would not want to read all this myself. The tree leaned closer. And How loud, I mean. It seems like a cool story. A pomegranate tree. I, I don't know who I am. The man said. I actually do. All seeds pondered. Others like me have been afflicted by a sickness. Help. Okay, so I'm guessing this lobby area, at least for a while, is going to be what leads us to the other uh, All seeds levels, and they're probably going to get more complex as we go. Strange rocks protruding from the ground. Destroying the talisman stones would free his kind. Then... The mighty tree extended. So yeah, let's head back to where we woke up because there was definitely one of those stones there. East. Unearth the cannot gate to find the path forward. To find yourself. I just realized the two hatches look different too. Interesting. That's the rock we cracked open. I guess the hoopo is gonna hang help us out a bit. Okay. Oh, cool. So that's the cannot, but I do want to check out. Can't get back. It's not. At least not yet. All right. Well, let's do what the game wants us to do. Oh, maybe this leads back around. Low objects with ease. Oh, really? Okay. As he the butt was actually not doing anything earlier. Mold all seeds words. Not oh, by roll seems like it might be use more useful than a jump anyway. The tree's kin help me recover my memory. He wondered. I feel like maybe questioning the talking tree might not be the best idea, right? All right. You knew there was going to be Zelda. Oh, hey. The travel broadens the mind. It, I should I should be wise beyond compare. I have traversed mountains, brave jungles, and treacherous through deserts, but all journeys must come to an end. Perhaps Mount Biston will be the place that I settle, where I build my abode. Is it suitable? After all, wisdom is knowing how little we know. It appeared to be a diary entry engraved into the stone. But to whom it belonged? So I can't take it with us, but I'm guessing we unlocked it. Let's just roll over these sharp rocks. That sounds pleasant. Or did this just loop back around to where we started? Or is it just another one of these rocks? As he trod the winding path, the man thought about everything that had befallen him. He worried about the nature of the sickness that all seemed... Oh, uh, we got sidling. How extensive was it? And how this is context sensitive. I don't have to hit a button or anything for that. Did he know that the answer to the latter question would begin to reveal itself? Of All the damage you're rolling by pressing A. Okay, good to know. Two steps further. Chop, chop. Okay, I can't break the spawning stones. 
that's interesting. Or, well, maybe I have to kill enough of them to fill the stone. That's why it's collecting them. Y'all blinking. Boss it. Stammer re re represents one of the trees you're free from sickness. Okay, so each area has a certain amount of them. The man thought, breathing hard after his encounter. Should take a look around to see if there's anything else we can break here. Unfurled its vibrant leaves, embracing nope. all but forgotten sunshine. What were those nasty little creatures? The man thought, yeah, it's not doing anything. Are they tainted by this sickness or harbingers of it? Where can all those dust? Ramy boys. I don't like to see this speed run. It's clearly you got a little bit of movement tech going on here. That's me also wanted to play Death's Door. Okay, we probably have to go in here, do the murder, and then come back out to I was just stuck and moved there. If I stick and move a little more often. Wrapped up my combo platter. I like the kind of classical vibe the combat music has going for it, too. Alright, oh, right here. So, like, where's the rest, you bastards? Yeah, that was like half my hit points. It's super sloppy. Hopefully they refill me when we're done. Explore to find more hidden items. Seconds of all seeds, kin was released. Night. Okay, the darkness is thematic. The inevitability of the dusk. The serene quiet. Seems I chose poorly. Mount Vista appeared welcoming, but I've discovered strange hostile creatures living here. They are small and easily dispatched, but there's a chilling hunger in their eyes. A sort of greed that can never be satisfied. Whoever engraved this may know more about those creatures. Oh, uh, watch it be us who engraved them. Like, this is our diary. I love the whole round gates in the combat arenas, too. I'm not gonna lie, the satisfying ting ting noise. Give me a wax stuff. Gates downstairs. Must be at the heart of it. Got a break shit. Where did they come from? Break shit. Like the curse. Swarming creatures defending them. So many questions. So few answers. And still, he didn't know who he was. Our cat. Turn my way through there. All right. So here we go. interact with it and then whack it. Got it. All right. Chapter the one. This is cute. Pretty straightforward thus far. All the seeds was asleep. A huge pomegranate hung from a branch. Oh, okay. This just records all the journal stuff that you found thus far. 
know how I feel about this whole eating the pomegranate thing. I don't know if we actually have consent, but it is the mission of the game, so. Gets mad, I apologize. Seems like as good a way of, as any to get cast into the underworld forever, but. Okay, exposition. Oh, more uh, constellations. Farhad. Far not to be confused with Farquad. This is not Shrek. Am I Farhad? So it seems the to be. Mountain, Farhad. You must dig. I need you. So Piston's the mountain. Somebody else broke it. Let's go fix it. Alright. It's time to dig into the mountain. Oh. Farhad. My name is Farhad. But who was that pained woman? And why did she ask what she did? I want to get back up here because I know there's stuff to break. Let me break it. Oh, I guess the different tiers of the mountain eventually align with one another. Oh, are we going to make a giant woman? Such solace in something so simple as a name, but still, that is all I recall. This is neat. Okay, it's doing sparkly storytelling above the top. We did it! Big hole! Does she want amethystine stones? Farhad wondered. Is that gonna be a new collectible? Or do I get a new power? Yep. Otherworldly fun stuff. In the celestial revelations realm once more. As you do. Progress feels like it's coming to the rapid clip. I'm kind of wondering how long this game actually is. Calling. Beckoning. Well, again, I feel like as we go along, the levels are getting a little more complex and harder battles, maybe some boss fights. Of agony in those few words. Help me, Farhad, please. Show yourself, Farhad called into the twinkling black. I'm not gonna lie, the first thing my brain locked onto in that state was the twink bars. Alright, so we're, we're putting our friend back together. Oh, okay. I popped a crystal here. Got it. Oh, okay. I didn't realize the slides were also another color of crystal. I thought they were more organic. Oh, the tree stuff going on. Alright. What's up, statue lady? wondered. One was of the mysterious woman in his hazy memory. She who pleaded with him to come to her. The other, no doubt, was for Hod himself. Oh sweet, I'm glad I warranted somebody making a statue of me. Was she the key to his past and his future? I mean, it couldn't hurt to find out. We 
weird space wets. As the statue brought down its hatchet, the white liquid flowed. Ah. Free goo. Oh, wait a minute. All right, okay, we want free goo. Free goo is good. For hard could only... Or chop. Soon his thirst for answers... Finished. Oh, that's right, she's got a D-ish. Oh, he's got a little pory bit. Cool. Oh, bonk. Kabong! The din of the fallen bell shocked Farhad, but the guttural roar of some unseen creature terrified him far more. Is that turn to a boss fight? Oh. Something sinister was watching, waiting. But Farhad seemed to have one ally. Although Allseed's motivations were shrouded in mystery, he had come once again. What's up, bruh? Tree hugs you again. The milk canal. The achievement for clearing that. Okay. All right, what's up, buddy? This is weird. What do you know of that place? Farhad asked all seeds. A shiver passed through the tree's branches. It is the realm of lost memories and forgotten souls. How handy. I've definitely forgotten something here. Pomegranate, Farhad said. I had a vision. I was engraving, sculpting. You did what? Is that what I do? Am I a sculptor? All seeds pump. You are now. I cannot say, but memories can be hewn from stone. Consider that. Can't do. My kind are trapped. If you can help them, perhaps I can provide answers. All right, we'll do a little more chop chop. To leave, but all seeds held out a gnarled palm. Be warned, though, human. Tree said, A fearsome monster, a deev, lurks in the Revelations realm. Pistoon is its name. Oh, okay. To the mountain on which you so Pistoon's stand. the bad guy. Keep away. Unless we're the bad guy. If you wish to live long enough to uncover the truth. So it might not be a boss fight, it might be a boss evasion sort of deal. Oh. That's a grave thing. Oh, I see. We make more of these. That's neat. What's that? Oh, okay. We're going to carve the memories as we find them. Stood back and admired the engraving. Okay. Let's see what that next objective was. Oh, we just follow Bird Bro. All right, back to the gate. Still haven't opened up up here yet, have they? Nope. All right, I'm going in. After this level, I'll probably uh, call it. But I'm digging this. We'll definitely come back to this one. I've said that a lot of times before. Despite all seeds warning, Farhad felt the seed of hope taking root in his breast. Okay. Although the path oh. behind Seidel? Seidel. him was shrouded. It's kind of hard to see with the lighting there. Oh, there was light enough to see his feet. All seeds had... But that would be why they put the torches there. God regain his memories. And although he didn't yet have all the answers, he had purpose. And what is anyone without purpose? All right. Interesting little scorpion scoot away there. I love, I love all the little wildlife hanging out. I mean, I saw the bird up there. I just to see any other goodies. I've decided to explore Mount Biston further and document my observations. Perhaps I can spare some poor soul my hardships. I'm engraving on stone tablets because those hideous little creatures tore apart my diary. Now they are stealing the tablets. Perhaps I am the first to encounter them. I should name them. There's something ghoulish about them. Ghoulish seems like... Ghoulish? 
a fitting name for the greedy little creatures for hard thought. It is so close to the term Gooches, though, and it's like, ah, uh, about that. But Gooches it is. Just checking every corner there. All right, it's combat time coming. Get ready to actually, you know, roll and evade. I guess this serves as a checkpoint, too. Like, it that you do get killed, which you will inevitably do at least once before this party's over, but... Yeah, solo, I don't seem to have much problem with him. He says he then gets a triple threat, alright? Oh. and lead them off so I don't get the other two triggered. I'm not going for speed runs here. I'm going for staying alive. I was going to say, them talk, him talk, the writer talking about them stealing it, it's like, they got to hide one here. The Gulches are everywhere. The numbers are growing. Of that, I'm sure. I need to defend myself first. I need to build an anvil, and then with that, I will smith a weapon. Our hard smithing skills were no match for sculpting. Oh, are we gonna get upgrades, baby? Sweet. I am here for proving hatchets. We just like some upgrades. Oh, yeah, that's part of the mission. All right, find a way to upgrade your weapon. Looking for anvils. Alright, there's some rocks. For Hod's thoughts never wandered far from the lady in his memories, but her face eluded his grasp. Oh, we got giggles. Has such deranged laughter ever heralded anything good? Did yeah, well, thank you for reminding me about the, uh, the rolling. I have a feeling it means we're gonna need it. Oh, oh no. Oh, orb. Wasn't too bad. I don't see much in the way of uh, anvils, but whatever. A sculpture caught for Hod's attention. Amethystine stones. Oh, that's a from its walk over there. Uh. Uh. I guess, I guess with uh, I guess within the area of the sidle, it triggered me sidle mode. Or that or stepping in something here. Yeah, it looks like there's something slows you. Oh, it's a slidey spot. Interesting. That's what that looks like anyway. Right, let's mess with the the glowy spot first. Oh. Oh, that's definitely an anvil. Here, smash my stuff. Bonk. Cool hat. Active ability for your weapon has been activated. Used by a person right bumper. Alright. Patch ability unlocked. I don't know what it does. Ooh, spin to win! I see, there's a little countdown timer for it. That's fair. Maybe it's not a slightest spot, maybe it's just a huge pain in the ass. For hard 
felt a new affinity with his hatchets, as though they were a part of him. Usually good for any weapon, really. But it will be an extension of yourself. Okay. Uh, okay, that is definitely a certain type of goo. Probably want to avoid. All right. Cool down. All right. Huh? It's definitely good for crowd control. I'll tell you what. Temporarily invincible when I throw that up, too. It's not everybody in, alright. Come at me. It's like I want to get the fly chumps uh, first. So we're good on that front. Night fell. As the light fell usually means you're done. Cool. Light. It was time to return to all seeds. Yeah, I like how the diamond, uh, like the diamonds from the trees, coalesce into one thing too. As a representative of, you gotta go break some shit. Really good UI design. Simple, but like. Stylish. That's the word I'm looking for. So there's definitely a, a ledge over here. Oh, hey, Rampy. Nothing natural about the creatures that plague this place, particularly the flying, cackling ones. I've named them parries. Uh, yesterday I touched one of the purple stones. My hand went numb, heavy, and throbbed for hours. I wish we'd be, be more careful. I realized that being light on his feet. Oh, I see. There was goo in that little spot. That's what was throwing up. But what new horrors awaited him? I guess this is our way down to... Okay, we just return to here if we need to. Alright. I just didn't see the, the way around earlier. Alright, that's fine. Stop touching goo! Otherwise, we've been pretty thorough, so we'll just sidle our way around here. And that was probably blocked by something earlier, so we wouldn't have been able to get up to it anyway. Or at least not far enough up to it to do anything useful. That's a memory. Ring ding. Deep Those definitely look like hands. For Hod knew who that huge hand belonged to. Bistoon, the ancient Deve, had its grip on the world. All right, that looks like where we're supposed to do the carving. Let's do it. Chop, chop. Bonk. All right, we're in. At one with nature. Yet another pomegranate. So hunky. This will probably be another, uh, dream sequence, or revelation sequence. That was marked with a two as well, or yeah, the first one was marked with a one for the achievement, so we'll do this, come back, talk to all seeds, and then call that there, and then we'll do a Sheena. I'm not sure if the Red Witch is a horror game, since the, the other game we played by that death was a horror game, or if it's more straight-up RPG. So we'll see. Don't be stepping on the sheep. Bonk. 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 Oh, that's that milk path thing again. Yeah. It's 
we built a milk duct. You gonna drop another bell on me, or what's going on here? Shirin, Shirin. I think Shirin is the creature from the intro. She's gonna help us on the way to figure out what's up with that. Heart felt ready to burst out of his chest. Shirin, the name of the woman he loved. Oh. My wife. My princess, my love, where are you? Are you in pain? You want some milk? Your voice will be my guide. I will find you. Even this mountain dare not stand in my way. Okay. Ah, you finished the picture. Didn't have any commentary on that one. Interesting. BRB stabbing some rocks. Alright, let's get otherworldly. Start. Okay. So later started than I wanted to be. But... Air, as if God himself were holding his breath. Got two roots here, so I'm kinda curious if they differ at all. There's a lot of spears hanging out, which is a little imposing, but I'm not seeing purple crystals down here, so hopefully not combat. See if there's any interactions. Oh, uh, okay, there's a lot of candles there. But God had forsaken this place, and a demonic creature made it its home. Oh, well, uh, this might be a boss fight. I don't know, we'll see what happens. Hello. Oh. What orb? Something, perhaps the ominous roar, had activated the talisman stones. The Hoopa, for Hod's thankless guide, was trapped. I got him. We'll take care of this. Do the chop chop, get the floaties. Chop chop the floaties. Can't roll here either. For Hod couldn't help but dwell on All Seed's dire warning. Beware the Deev, the Stool, if you value your life. Okay, I didn't see the Hoopo flew up into what presumably the cage formed around. Grave danger. I'm also curious what that big glowing thing off in the distance is. Break dead, break dead. Warhod found his attention drawn to the floating island pierced by menacing light. Same! <laughs> nothing about it, but somehow it seemed familiar. And get Leviathan from uh, Hellraiser vibes. Slippy. Really good camera follow in this, too. Like, I have no complaints. I'm glad it's not a fixed uh, angle looking down, either. Flip. Alright. What's your deal? Prison break! 
God freed the hoopoe, but flap as it might, it struggled to fly. He tried to cradle the bird in his hands, but it evaded his gentle grasp. Perhaps all seeds embrace would cure the bird of its injuries. All right. If only it could do the same for Farhad. And I think I'm doing okay, and his tree bros have helped me out several times. So whatever. All right, well, that was fun. Hugs. 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 Yeah, this is neat. This is very pretty. You should not return to that cursed place. All seeds rumbled. You're not my dad. For hard shook his head. Maybe you are my dad, I don't know. You must have answers, he said. I have to find Shireen. All seeds sighed. A sound like the wind rustling through leaves. I remember, I've definitely heard of a character named Shireen in something else. And I don't know what. Asked all seeds about the giant floating. I talked to him earlier. Relations realm. Put the fortress of oblivion from your mind, all seeds said. You will never reach it with that weapon. I guess this is more of a refresher for if you put the game down. Back to it. Alright, so what are you showing me now, buddy? I got that statue stuff. Yeah, we gotta just look at it again. My wife. Sorry, Shireen. Farhad muttered under his breath. It pained him that he could ever have forgotten his love. What has done this to me? He thought. Really good bonk on the head, apparently. Fears vied for supremacy in Farhad's head. Into a single burning goal. Had to find Shireen. Alright, well, we're going to save finding Shireen for another time because I still got one more game to check out. So that was cool. Alright. Well, while hitting the A to confirm also sent me to a roll. But yeah, alright, that's legit. I am into this. I'm glad I said yes to this.